getting everything all warmed up. I got my torpedo heater, and of course, Old Faithful. All right, guys, so here we are. I totally skipped doing all of this because it was basically just a lot of cutting and tacking and shifting and clamping, and it's just pretty much this, it's not hard. It was just labor intensive. So basically, I got everything tacked in where I need it, and I'm just trying to finalize all my angles and all of my measurements, make sure everything's square with the trailer. And I don't think I'm gonna go too crazy when it comes to <clears throat> squareness off of the trailer because I'm gonna, when I reset the axles, because the axles have to move backwards, what I'm gonna do is square everything off the coupler once I do the axles. Because those are gonna have to move back like six feet, something like that. Because these, are moving back to account for the hydraulic dovetail. Um, yeah, but everything looks really nice. It's square as shit. Like I said, everything's just tacked in, but she looks pretty. Now, right here, I have to tack, put a little bead there, and then put a little, scooch this guy up just a little bit so everything's square and level. And then from there, I can suck in the inside, I don't know if you can see that. Suck the inside in and get all that tied in really nice. But so far, everything's going really well. I'm super proud of it so far. I've got torque tubes put in here. They're like three inch by quarter inch diameter tubes that I had laying around. I'm welding them in there just to eliminate a little bit of the trailer sway. Once I get the deck put in, I'm sure it's gonna be cut down a lot. And the reason why I have it so wide is you really have to tie into the main rails here. And that's actually a plus because it gives me more stability side to side. And it gives me room to put a uh, toolbox in there. But here's the rub. My buzz box, AC, tombstone welder, old school. The leads are old and cracked, probably original. I can't get my leads to weld the coupler. I'm like right here is as far as I can go. So it's another like two foot. So. I think I'm going to have to take my old engine stand that I put together and built out of some pallets and some uh, casters to move the uh, 12 valve around when I swap the truck. That's going to have to get a jack on it. I'm going to put this underneath that and then roll the whole assembly back. The four foot or whatever I got left in the, the big shop. <clears throat> and then that should give me enough travel in order to tack up the couple. <laughs> Isn't it nice just trying to do shit by yourself? It's great. I, I, I love it. Get these fuckers out of the way. Oh. Junk ass fucking piece of shit. Alright, now I need to sweep up this shit. Be back. Okay, we're kind of cleaned up. <clears throat> kind of get this bitch situated. Yeah, this is big brain time. I think that's good enough. Now we can go back. Okay, she's tacked in, just ran a couple beads on it, she's in that hurry. <clears throat> so pretty much everything is tacked up, ready to roll, solid. So now I can go through and just weld the shit out of it, get everything gusseted in, get my down angles. Get my tie-ins on the uprights, all that stuff. So this is cool. So this is really exciting. And yeah. So next video, probably be putting in the gussets and all that stuff. 
and maybe we'll focus a little bit more on the wheels get those eight lugs in get all that stuff figured out because we get a weld on the brake flanges because we don't have electric brakes on both axles but we will so tune in next time midwest moose comment rate subscribe all that good stuff i love you guys i'm going to bed <laughs>